Please be seated. Graduating students, parents, families, friends, colleagues, and honored guests, welcome to the college's 62nd convocation in the Gerald E. Hines College of Architecture and Design at the University of Houston. I'm Patricia Belton Oliver, Dean of the college, and I have the honor this afternoon of presiding over this wonderful event. Before we start the ceremony, festivities for the afternoon, I've been asked to make an announcement regarding your safety. Please be reminded that there's no smoking. You need to be reminded, right? There's also aisles on both sides, which we ask to keep clear because the fire marshal is very insistent about this. If an emergency occurs, we will direct you to the exit doors located both here and in the back. Should any emergencies arise, please be calm and follow the directions of our event staff. You can see them all around the atrium. Event volunteers, along with representatives from the UH Fire Marshal and UH Police Department are available to assist our guests with any problems or questions. A live feed broadcast of today's ceremony as well as additional seating is available in the theater. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce the members of the college and our honored guests who join me on the platform today. Our Associate Dean, Lannis Kirkland, Our Assistant Dean Trang Fan. <laughs> Co-directors of our Graduate Studies, Dietmar Froelich and Rafael Longoria. <laughs> Director of the Industrial Design Program, Unsuk Kwan, Dr. Unsuk Kwan. <laughs> Representing the Interior Architecture Program, Ziad Qureshi. Our alumnus and Vice President of the University of Houston Architecture Alumni Association, Sarah Killingsworth. <laughs> Professor Shafiq Rifat is our Grand Marshal for today. This college has a particularly dedicated faculty. Our tenured and tenure track faculty members anchor the teaching, scholarship, and service missions of the college. They oversee and manage our curricula, and many coordinate various knowledge areas within the college. I ask that all our tenured, tenure track faculty members present today please rise and accept recognition and appreciation for your contribution to the college and to our graduating students. technical difficulty. Our adjunct faculty also play a significant role in the education of our students. These faculty members help foster our vital connections to fresh ideas and evolving design means and processes. And they link us to issues of professional practice and to the needs and goals of our communities. Their dedicated service is crucial to the life of the college and we are grateful for all that they provide. I ask that our adjunct faculty members present today rise and accept our recognition and appreciation for their service. Our college staff, our students, faculty and administrators, we depend on them so much that it is essential to our college and they provide the day in and day out continuity to keep the ship afloat and moving. I can say with pride that each individual member of our staff goes above and beyond their job description to better serve the students. Our staff also includes colleagues working from the William R. Jenkins Architecture and Art Library. And with these, while these colleagues are technically whole positions in the MD Anderson Library, they are very much a part 
of our collective and our school. Please join me in thanking college staff for all they do. And today, I would particularly like to recognize Mary Benham. Where's Mary? Mary? Come over here, closer. Mary has been with the university for 36 years, 18 of those years in the College of Architecture. She's never missed a graduation, and unfortunately this will be her last as she's leaving us, retiring, and we wish her the very best in her next adventures. Mary. I'd also like to acknowledge our college's academic advising team, which includes Abby Corcoran and Kendra Moss. Where Abby, Kendra, and where are you? Abby, Kendra. In addition to working with the students on a daily basis, they are in charge of organizing and coordinating every aspect of graduation. This is no small task and join me extending to Abby and Kendra their, for their hard work and efforts to make this day a success for our graduates. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Graduates, you did it. <laughs> the hours. Hours, hours, hours <laughs> have finally paid off. We have this awards and recognition ceremony because we want to mark the moment. We have this ceremony because we're so proud of you. We respect you for what you've accomplished and we want to honor you. So class of 2016, congratulations! Every graduating class is a unique mix of students, and each student has a unique story. I'd like to share a few bits of information about this graduating class. Today we graduated 133 graduates. <laughs> Among the 133, 37% of the undergraduate class are women. That's better. And 53% of the graduate class are women. How did I say? That's a little, getting, we're getting there, we're getting there. Our undergraduate students have been accepted to pursue their graduate degrees at Columbia, MIT, Harvard, Tulane University, and Yale. So congratulations to those students. This is the first graduating class of the graduate program in industrial design. First one. Elizabeth Roeder is one of those students. Being in the, and this is what she says, being in the first batch of graduates for any program is daunting and an exciting experience. As the first pancakes as we have been so lovingly and accurately nicknamed. <laughs> At times it has been extremely difficult to navigate uncharted waters, but now it is safe to say the storms are clearing and we have hopefully helped set a course for those that follow. I transferred to UH from the University of Illinois, spent my savings to hire a moving truck, left behind a paid graduate appointment ship, family, friends, and support network to move across the country to join a program with no funding, not yet, in a city where I knew no one in order to pursue my goals. It was terrifying and at times very difficult, but I have not regretted my decision at all. This degree represents a pathway to the future for me in my professional endeavors 
and also as a gateway for future graduates of a program that I can proudly say I helped build. This degree is also, hopefully, proof to my family that their sacrifices in supporting me were also worth it. I want to thank Unsa Kwan. for taking a chance on a miserable transfer student looking for a change and a challenge. And to Lauren Baker, the other burnt pancake, I could have made it through this alone. <laughs> Elizabeth, where is Elizabeth? Stand up. Congratulations. <laughs> Our graduate speaker this afternoon, Diana Handanovic, is a Bosnian refugee, having fled Bosnia, the Bosnian War at age 11. Beside Bosnia, today, graduate countries of origin include China, India, Iran, Mexico, Nigeria, Norway, the Philippines, Venezuela, Vietnam, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and Turkey. <laughs> Vishwesh Pashal's family has traveled 9,020 miles from India to see her graduate today. Where is the grad? Where are they? Are they in here? Can we see them? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hey. Ariana Gazato's family has come from Venezuela to see her walk across the stage. She says, when I was 17 years old, I decided to move to Houston and learn English at the University of Houston. The political situation in my country has been very difficult, so many of us felt obligated to leave in search of a better, opportuni for better opportunities. After a year learning the language, I got accepted to the College of Architecture and Design. Leaving my home country, the life I had always known, and especially my family and friends, was the greatest sacrifice I had to endure. This degree represents the hard work and the perseverance it took us all to get there. I say all because I could not have done it without the support of my family and my fiance. This degree proves that you can make your dreams come true. Ariana, where are you? Where are you? She isn't here. <laughs> and then us. Thank you. 133 graduates, 133 stories. Jessica Deaver graduates today with a Master of Architecture degree. <laughs> Completing her Master of Architecture degree for her means continuing the legacy of her father and her best friend. My father would lead structure study sessions on speakerphone for my whole class at 1 a.m. before a big exam. We may have a job for you. Where are you? <laughs> He is relentless in my education, and every day I'm grateful for his inspiration and insight. I started my graduate degree wanting to become licensed and help my father with his practice. Now, four years later, I'm finishing my degree, looking to further his message and to make my own impact. When I chose this school, I also chose the city. Houston has taught me so much about resilience, change, infrastructure, opportunity, success, and failure. I do not think I would be the same person if I had gone to any other school of architecture. I'm grateful to this college for never limiting my worldview and demanding the very best from me. Congratulations to Jessica and her father. These are our graduates, 133 graduates, 133 stories. Today we want to celebrate you, all of you.
We want to honor your continued striving to acquire the skills and insight to be a good designer, maybe even a great designer, to be a good architect, maybe even a great architect, to make every minute count, to dream big, and to continue to make us proud. Class of 2016, congratulations. I'm going to now ask our Associate Dean Lannis Kirkland and Assistant Dean Trang Fan to join me in recognizing our outstanding graduate, undergraduate students from architecture, industrial design, and interior architecture programs for their academic achievements. These students have earned the highest cumulative GPAs in their respective programs. We will recognize students completing professional degrees in the architecture program first, followed by industrial design, and then interior architecture. The American Institute of Architects, through its foundation, offers special awards to graduates in architecture with the highest academic standing in professional degree programs at both the undergraduate and graduate levels. The American Institute of Architecture certificate is given to the graduate and undergraduate student with the second highest grade point average. This year, the certificates go to Dejana Handanovic, <laughs> and the undergraduate certificate to Altair Galgana. Graduate and undergraduate architecture students with the highest cumulative grade point averages are awarded the American Institute of Architecture Medal. For the 2016 graduate class, this distinction goes to Eric Erstad. undergraduate student with the highest cumulative grade point average is Lavelle Fish. <laughs> I now ask Dr. Kwan to uh, present the Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards in Industrial Design. I should add a little few things. Um, the class 2016 was very special, very special. The, we have the first graduate of industrial design graduate program. We received the Master of Science Industrial Design degree today. And also the undergraduate class 2016, they raised the bar of design excellence in design studies. The reviewers from the final design review, they unanimously mentioned um, the senior thesis project as a whole was the best body of work they've seen out of UH class since they've been attending. I mean the whole, the class 2016. So it is my honor to announce um, the, the best design performance from both graduate and undergraduate program. Um, as the first graduate of industrial design program, the academic performance award goes to Lauren Baker. Undergraduate Academy Performance Award goes to Casey Zwick. Sorry. <laughs> the 
The Industrial Designer Society America provide uh, three additional awards today. We'll get there. Professor Ziad Qureshi will announce the Interior Architecture Outstanding Academic Achievement. Did you hear that? Okay. I'll, I'll say it again. <laughs> Professor Ziad Qureshi will uh, announce the Outstanding Academic Achievement in Interior Architecture. Interior Architecture Program, we're, we're overjoyed to have the opportunity to have our second graduating class uh, in the program. We're a young program, but we have, at the same time, excellent graduates. And it's my honor to share with you two awards that were issued for the citation for Outstanding Senior Project, uh, the capstone project for the program. Uh, this is a project which is a, uh, a project which every Interior Architecture student pursues, and we have the opportunity to recognize distinctive contribution within this. The committee at the thesis last, semester, uh, last week was unanimous in its decisions to recognize two students in interior architecture, and I'm pleased to share that Kevin Hai Pham and Eugen Grace Kim will be receiving this year the citation for Outstanding Senior Project. So thank you so much to those students for their hard work and to all the students in the program that are graduating. So now I will announce the uh, Outstanding Academic Achievement for uh, Undergraduate in Interior Architecture, Ariana Gonzalez Perez. Congratulations to the students on those awards. Vice President of the University of Houston Architecture and Design Alumni Association, Sarah Killingsworth, received her Bachelor of Architecture magna cum laude from the college in 2015. While here, Sarah held many leadership positions in the American Institute of Architects students and is its most recent past president. Following graduation, Sarah joined Kirksey and then went on to work at SBWV Architects. While a student, Sarah was always active and engaged with college life. And now, as an alumna, Sarah continues her engagement by being an active member of our alumni organization. We benefit from the contributions that she and our alumni have provided. Their work directly supports our students and programs. Please welcome our alumna, Sarah Killingsworth, to the podium. First of all, let me just say, congratulations, class of 2016. You have worked so hard. Congratulations to you. Everyone has packed out this building today because they care about this milestone in your life. This is important. You've worked hard for it. And they're proud of you, and we're proud of you, for this collective and individual achievement. You've earned it, clearly. I'm here today representing the collective wisdom and well wishes of the College of Architecture and Design's alumni. People who sat where you're sitting today. They understand where you came from. You may not know them yet, but they know you. You have now also become alumni, so congrats on that. Welcome to the College of Architecture and Design Alumni Association. That doesn't mean you owe anything to the past or even to the present, but to the future. What happened in the past is valuable, but static. The future is the only thing that we can change. 
And right now, you are the future. Make sure to remember your own potential when you help future students and future alumni of this college. Don't forget to give back. Your efforts here can make this educational experience even better for others than it was for you, and I know you enjoyed it. There are things you loved here. Now remember, the Alumni Association is the voice of the profession today, and now it's your voice. When you leave, don't forget to keep learning. Never stop. It sounds exhausting right now because you're really tired because you just got through finals. But it's for the best. Life keeps moving forward, and so should you. The things you should take from this building are not specific or tangible things. They're not scars, they're not models, they're not grades, they're not even the diploma that you're walking out of here with. Young graduates often have something that many people lose touch with over the course of their careers. Potential and passion. The freedom to imagine your future and the energy to make it happen. Never forget the things that you learned here. That working with the community is always better long term than trying to do everything yourself. That it's not one great idea that makes a good design project, but the many mediocre ideas that you have to go through first. You have to get all of the work out first. And that diversity really is the best way of doing things. That differences make us stronger. That we can learn from each other's differences, weaknesses, and strengths. To keep learning out of school, find yourself a mentor. And don't feel entitled for asking for one. Never feel entitled for that. If not a mentor, then find yourself a strong community to plug yourself into as designers. Find something that nourishes you and nourishes your creative endeavors. Find good people to surround your career path with, even young and inexperienced people. Those people make you want to become better. Finally, and I'll wrap this up quickly, don't worry, on the topics that we're all most worried about when we graduate. Success and satisfaction. If you're trying to pin your satisfaction on, you know, an experiential thing, the perfect career, the perfect job, the perfect pay, the perfect benefits, you're not going to find it because those things are moving targets. Don't let anyone else tell you either what's important or what to care about in your career. Figure those things out yourself. Those are for you to discover. Don't let expectations for success, whether from you or from others, change what you're looking for. Success is not a status. Success is not working for a big name. Success is not money, and it's not even control. Success, in one way, is satisfaction with a process. It's not a destination. And one of the first things you learned in architecture school is that the project is never finished. It's never done. And guess what? You're the project now. If you have to define success for yourself, just remember this. Remember that you are always worth more than the money that you make. Anyone can get money, but not everybody has passion. It's much harder to care more throughout your whole career. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long one. But nobody becomes a Dyson or a Zaha or a Frank Gehry without caring a lot. If you have to choose, and someday you will have to choose, choose to care and do more. And good luck on your project. Congratulations, class of 2016. Sarah. Now it is my pleasure to present this year's Excellence in Teaching Award. This award is presented to a member of the college faculty who has demonstrated teaching and professional excellence. Excellence. 
Nominations for this prestigious award come from the graduates themselves. This year's recipient has significantly impacted our students' design aspirations as evidenced by the nomination's words of commendation. Jason has always stood for an interesting view on design. He is, my, he is open to many approaches and allows and encourages exploration through many means. His only goal is to exceed students to new levels in thinking. He is always committed to his students, even on the weekend, before the deadline, coming into studio, checking on everyone, buying pizza, offering help. He is an outstanding professor and an amazing guy to be around. He ensures the student re really understands not just the solution, but why it's the solution. His manner of presenting the material makes you excited to work harder and look for interesting and dynamic ideas. He was the most influential teacher of my time at the school over the last five years. Congratulations to Jason Logan. At this time, I invite Diana Hananovic and Lavelle Fish to offer today's student addresses. Diana will speak on behalf of the 2016 graduate class, and Lavelle will speak on behalf of the undergraduate class. of 2016, we made it. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and to their supportive friends and families. To the faculty and distinguished professors, thank you for your unending support, your motivation, and the knowledge you imparted on us. I want to start by saying how honored I am to be up here today. However, this would not have been possible without the support of my family and my friends, and especially my husband and my son. So thank you for your motivation, support, and most of all, your patience. See, on our first day of level two studio class, our professors blindsided us and announced that we had to work in teams chosen at random. And as most of my classmates, I was not very happy about it. I always thought I'd work much better alone. Alone, I don't need to worry whether the other person will have the same ideas as me, or if they'll do the fair share of the work, or if we'll even get along. But anyways, then uh, we drew names from a hat, a construction hat, of course, and I drew Eric Erstad, who happened to be sitting next to me just as he is today. And I have to admit, I thought to myself, great. Now I have to work with this tall, pale, very quiet guy for the entire semester. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. See, I had built up this wall of preconceived notions about working in teams that kept me very guarded and kept me from seeing the value beyond. But it didn't take long, and I realized that our differences could be complementary. Where I was strong, he gave me space, and where I was weaker, he shined. And then there came a day when we hit rock bottom, and I realized that uh, this, is the, this is the moment where the true value of the team comes to shine. Because at the moment where we're suffering the most, that is when we need the team the most. So a team, a system of, of support, holds us up and helps us overcome what we could not achieve alone. So I would like to share this honor with Eric Erster, who has kept me motivated through the stress and calm to the freakouts that happen very often. Thank you, Eric. <clears throat> Graduation is a time for reflection. This is the time when we take a moment and we think about where we have come from, and where we are now. Personally, I come from Bosnia, a country torn apart by war that took over 100,000 lives and displaced millions more. A war due to ideological differences and refusal to work together for the better good of all. I will never forget the first time I heard the rifle in front of my house. I was 11 and it was in the evening, and I was about just to go to sleep. As I heard it, I jumped off 
I jumped up from my bed and I ran to grab my little brother who was sleeping in his crib. I grabbed him and we lay down on the floor. After that, I don't remember much, or maybe I don't want to remember. But I do know that I had to leave the country shortly after, and I had to leave everything that I knew. I understand that to most of you, this sounds like a scene from a movie, but for me, it was reality. You know, it's easy to believe that it's impossible to lose your home and members of your family when you're 11 and still be able to find hope and recover the will to survive, or that it's impossible to move to another country as a refugee, return to school without knowing the language, and still manage to assimilate and achieve academic success, or that it's impossible to do design build when seven months pregnant, or even to go to graduate school and be a mom at the same time. But it is possible. However, today, as a graduate, as I reflect back on my life, I realize that I haven't done anything alone. There has always been somebody to support me. From my new friend in Austria that showed me the way around school, to the nice lady at the grocery store that reassured me that my English is just fine, and then to Eric and to all of you here today. So what I want to say is that it is impossible to go through life alone. We live in a turbulent world with too many walls already, and it doesn't do us any good to build more. Because the moment we come together and see the world from another's point of view, we get a glimpse of the world the way we want it to be and the way it ought to be. So as the future architects and designers of the world, it is our responsibility as professionals to come together and stop building walls that divide us and start building bridges that bring us closer together. Thank you and congratulations again. smaller than I thought it would be. Um, Dean Oliver, members of the faculty, friends, family, and fellow graduates, when I received the notification of the honor of speaking on behalf of the undergraduate class, my first thought was, okay, which professor gave one of the thesis kids a C? In reality, let's face it, I'm an overachiever, I whine too much, and they're just glad to get rid of me. <laughs> I wanted to thank my parents and my friends for all the support they have given me. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here today. I want to walk down memory lane and all the wonderful experiences we had together in the last five years, but to be honest, it's all haze punctuated by moments of, what do you mean we only have five minutes to pin up? I'm still in the print crew and the plotter just ran out of paper. <laughs> Which of you little bastards took my pins? <laughs> Does anybody have any super glue? As graduates, we began this journey together, carrying a bag of tools and boundless creative energy. Over the years, we have left behind many of our classmates as the pressures of the program crushed every social connection, destroyed every hobby, and highlighted the irritating need for the body to sleep. We have um, overcome endless obstacles and impossible deadlines that our friends and family couldn't possibly understand. I had my old people problems, and you had, well, your parents. We had to learn the meaning of sacrifice and what it took to prevail when everything is working against you. We have all known failure at some level, but each of us had to learn from our mistakes. I stand before you as a living reminder that it is never too late to follow your dream. That there never will be an obstacle big enough to stop you. You just need the determination. If you view every failure as an opportunity to learn, you can achieve anything. For our families, it was hard to understand the lengths of which we were willing to sacrifice when we made this journey. Thinking back, when I graduated high school in the dark ages of 1986, <laughs> um, I don't think that I would have survived the demands of this program. Sure, the late nights and sleepless nights would have been much easier but I don't believe I would have had the drive necessary to keep it up. It's easy to allow others to take the blame. It's easy to give up. One of the most important lessons you must learn is to believe in your own ability and your refusal to accept defeat. I'd like to talk about one of my obstacles. Talking with architects 
about my desire to attend architecture school, they had the same memory. The study abroad program was the most memorable and happiest of their school. I knew come hell or high water, I was gonna be in a study abroad program. Three days before I was supposed to board a plane for the 52 degree north study trip, I rushed myself to the emergency room with what I believed to be chest pains. After a quick talk with the emergency room doctor, we both felt I was just having a panic attack due to stress, work, school, and the trip. The staff gave me some routine medication and prepared to discharge me. Following my quick somersault to the floor in the ER, I passed out. They decided I had to be placed on a 24-hour observation hold. I was checked into the hospital despite my protests, and they ran a series of tests. The result was an undiagnosed genetic abnormality in my heart. I only knew one thing. I was not gonna miss that flight. No matter what the circumstances, and there was no way I was gonna skip a semester. I told the doctor I was too old and worried more about dying before I graduated than I was worried about any heart disease. After two days of arguing and negotiating with the doctor, they finally relented, agreeing that I probably wasn't gonna die in the next 120 days, and there was no harm in me flying halfway around the world to do a little exercise. We came to an agreement, um, and I scheduled my needed surgery between semesters over a winter break. 24 hours later, I was on a plane to Paris, excited about my adventure. Though it may have been a scary moment, I learned a valuable lesson. I had to believe in myself and my ability. I had to let go of my fear. I had to accept the possibility of failure. I had to keep my focus on surviving one day at a time, one step at a time. As predicted, the trip was the highlight of my experience at this college. The memories of Professor Johnson standing in the corner of the street, spinning a paper map endlessly in circles, trying to find north. Or Professor Bowden constantly complaining about, uh, or I mean Professor Logan's constant complaining about Professor Bowen's study abroad Facebook posts. <laughs> they will always be a joy in my life. If you take anything away with my time, from my time with you in the last five years, remember this. You will always have obstacles in the form of marriage, family, health, money, and work. Don't, al <clears throat> don't allow yourself to doubt your dreams. Or let them prevent you from reaching it. You are good enough. You are creative enough. You do have the skills needed to accomplish anything. All you need to do is take one step forward and never look back. If I stop to think about all the obstacles and situations in the last five years, I probably would have quit. I told myself I would focus on the future I would only focus on the things I could do, not what I should do. One step at a time, one day at a time. As a graduating class, you've been given an amazing set of skills by incredible and creative people. They have taught us that everything around us is a blank canvas and that we can create a better future. I, for one, can't wait to see what you do. I want to leave you with an important lesson I learned from my grandfather. Remember who you are and act accordingly. Thank you. We have great students. This is one of my favorite parts of the ceremony, presentation of the 2016 Awards for Excellence in Design. Dr. Unsuk Kwan will make the presentation for the Industrial Design Awards presentation, followed by Professor William Truitt for the Undergraduate Architecture Design Awards, Ziad Qureshi, present 
will present design awards for the Interior Architecture Program. And finally, Professor Rafael Longoria will make the presentation for the Graduate Design Awards and the Architectural Research Center's Consortium King Medal Program Award. Thank you. <laughs> It is my honor to present Industrial Design Award. IDSA, the Industrial Designer Society America, uh, presents four awards today. Uh, those awards are selected by professional designers based on three criteria, desirability, marketing viability, and manufacturing feasibility. Please join me congratulating them when their names are called. Starting from the first place, the IDSA Texas Chapter Special Recognition Award goes to Adriana Ayala. <laughs> she developed a series of design research for people with disabilities. Her design research and experimental study for people with disabilities were highly recognized by the judges. The second place of IDSA Special Recognition Award goes to Kara Kaiser. <laughs> she created beekeeping product system in an urban environment which enhances accessible and sustainable lifestyle with Mother Nature. Congratulations. The third place, the IDSA Texas Chapter Special Recognition Award goes to Jason Yang. <laughs> Jason explored humanitarian and social design for homeless people. <laughs> Finally, the IDSA Student Merit Award is a very special recognition for a student who has demonstrated excellence and consistent performance for four years. A Merit Award students will receive one year complimentary membership from IDSA. The 2016 IDSA Student Merit Award goes to Aaron McQueen. Congratulations, the class 2016 again. Thank you. I'm privileged to announce the winners uh, of the undergraduate BARC program, the Design Awards. First, as part of that, I'd like to recognize uh, Thursday night at the Honors College. We recognized the students who completed an honors thesis through the Honors College and the College of Architecture and Design. I'd like to recognize Alejandra Cervantes, David Copeland Laredo, Erica Chin, Mario Medina, and also Thomas Pham uh, was recognized for his, for his interior architecture project. <clears throat> Thank you for your hard and independent work within the college. I know the senior honors thesis is a lonely semester and year long process, so thank you. Um, earlier in the week, the Professional Studios faculty met uh, to select the best graduating work for selection of the 2016 Super Jury. Uh, I'd like to recognize each of these students whom the Professional Studios faculty agreed represented the best work in the college. Cheryl Joseph, Jocelyn Sarabia, David Copeland Laredo, Erica Chen, Sabrina Aguilar, and Mario Medina. Each of these six students was uh, commended for their work by the super jury, including uh, incoming AIA president, uh, Catherine, Catherine Calloway, Al sorry, ex-AIA president, uh, where am I lost? James Evans, and the professor, the professor in practice at Rice University, Douglas Oliver. 
Uh, the jury wanted everyone to know that the best work could have come from any one of these projects, and they had a, a difficult time this year selecting the projects. Uh, that said, they did select winners and losers. So third place, I'd like to announce uh, Sacred and Metro Space for Saigon, Jocelyn Saravia. Second place goes to hybridizing the madrasa and the caravanserai of Istanbul, Mario Medina. <laughs> Best in show goes to disputed borders and territories for Hong Kong, Erica Chen. architecture program would like to recognize uh, solely one, uh, one opportunity, and this is a thesis that was offered via the Honors College for Kevin Hai Pham. Uh, the Honors College recognized for the first time for our program uh, an exceptional project uh, that was identified for, uh, for accommodation via the Honors College. So join me in thanking Kevin Hai Pham for his contribution. <laughs> Um, every year we invite a group of distinguished architects from outside our college to evaluate the work of every student receiving a master's degree and to select the best master projects of the year. This year our jury consisted of Professor Scott Coleman of Rice University, Chung Wen, FAIA, Principal of MC Square Architects, and Pia Wortham, of the Barcelona Architecture Center. After reviewing every project uh, that is currently on display on the third floor, the jury made the following selections, which I will announce in ascending order. An honorable mention for technical merit to the Wooden Throne by Ryan Oliason, a project that was completed while he was at our exchange program with TU Grass in Austria. A design award was given to Unveiling the Arts, a high school for the visual and performing arts in Fort Worth by Casey Smith. Another design award to Children's Haven, a children's hospital also in Fort Worth by Kathleen Sovsak. The jury decided to give two best master project awards, uh, since they could not decide which of the two was the best one. Uh, one goes to a vertical recreation beacon, a gymnasium in East Downtown by Jessica Soto. And finally, the other best master project of the year award uh, goes to regenerative, regenerative mutualism, 
a study of how to save our coral reefs by Nishan Kishore Chanke. The, the Architectural Research Center's uh, Council, ARCC, uh, recognizes the best design projects around the country. Um, they uh, have granted a King Medal uh, Award uh, to Isabella Barra Hawkins for her project, her research project, Saving Memorial Band historic, modern historic presentation in the context of a city without zoning. Tall people were here, I see. This year we are pleased to recognize the newly inducted members of Tau Sigma Delta, the National Honor Society for the Fields of Architecture, Landscape Architecture, and the Allied Arts. With those members of the Tau Sigma, Sigma Delta, Beta Delta chapter, whose names I call, please stand. Lauren Baker. <laughs> Weston Berry. Eric Erstad, Lavelle Fish, Diana Kandanovich, Tyler Nagai. Congratulations to the inaugural group. Leadership skills are important to the development of aspiring designers and future design leaders. Through their leadership initiatives and design work, our students define the school and further enrich the design community. Some students in particular distinguish themselves as leaders amongst their peers. Today, we recognize some of these students' special contributions. Before we proceed, with the awards presentation, I want to bring your attention to those graduates who are wearing lavender cords. Can you see those? <laughs> These students have held leadership positions in the American Institute of Architecture Students, Alpha Rho Chi, Society of Industrial Design Students, Student Council, Student Government Association, and the college's graduate and undergraduate committees. Their contributions have truly enriched and improved our students' experience here. At this time, I ask that all our student leaders stand to be recognized for their leadership contributions to the college. All right. Thank you. And now Assistant Dean Trang Fan will join me for the presentation of the College Leadership Awards. I'm delighted to present the College's Leadership Awards to three deserving students this afternoon, but without an email. The first award is a Nia Becknell Award, given in memory of Nia Becknell, a former faculty member of the college. This award recognizes a student who exhibits great initiative and spirit to teaching, planning, design, and organizational work in this community. This year's recipient is Giovanni Peña. <laughs> Next. 
Next is the Myron C. Anderson Award given in memory of Professor Myron Anderson. It recognizes a student who exemplifies Professor Anderson's commitment to others and his efforts to engender collegiality and high purpose as important aspects of an architect's service to society. This year's recipient is Alejandra Cervantes. <laughs> the Alpha Rho Chi Award. This award is presented to a graduating senior who has shown an affinity for leadership, performed willing service for the school or department, and gives promise of real professional merit through his or her attitude and personality. This year's Alpha Rho Chi recipient is Casey Rowe. And now, don't tell me you're not ready for this. The moment you've been waiting for, the presentation of this year's graduating class, class of 2016. Professor Dean Marfrolick will serve as the reader for the graduate class. Associate Dean Lannis Kirkland will serve as the reader for the undergraduate class. And Assistant Dean Trang Fan will assist with the diplomas and the courting of honors graduates. Class of 2016. Graduating with a degree in Master of Architecture, Eric Erstadt. <laughs> Graduating with the degree of Master of Architecture, Diana Handanovic. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Science in Industrial Design, Lauren Marie Baker Clough. <laughs> Graduating with the degree of Master of Architecture with a concentration in sustainable design, Keith Anthony Bottoms. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Jessica Nichelle Deaver. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Charles C. Dixon. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in Sustainable Design, Olushe Hassan Abayomi Fatai Williams. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Wei Xiao Soi Gao. Graduating with a Master of Arts in Architectural Studies and a concentration in Digital Media and Fabrication, Kubra Gul. <laughs> Graduating with a degree, Master of Architecture, Zachary Haynes. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Clark Wade Harrington. <laughs> Gra 
graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in sustainable design, Juliana Alejandra Hernandez. <laughs> graduating with a degree of Master of Science in Architecture, Ho Kyung Lee. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in urban systems, Tyler Nagai. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Ryan Oliason. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in urban systems, Asma Ibrahim Olvi. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in urban systems, Vishwesh Kulin Panchal. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in Sustainable Design, Giovanni Andres Peña. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Science in Industrial Design, Elizabeth Reuter. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in Sustainable Design, Daniela Reyes. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Stephen M. Shibona. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in Urban Systems, Casey R. Smith. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in urban systems, Kathleen Sobchak Marco. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Science in Architecture and a concentration in digital media and fabrication, Nishant Kishore Sanke. Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture and a concentration in urban systems, Jessica Soto. <laughs> Graduating with a degree of Master of Architecture, Sarah M. Waller. We'll now call the names of those receiving undergraduate degrees. Graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture, Kevin Hai Pham. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design, Casey Renee Rao. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Lavelle Fish. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Sabrina Aguilar.
Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Christopher Kase Aljima. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Alan Amor. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Beatrice Arellano. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture, Priscilla Aratia. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design, Adriana Gabriela Ayala Munoz. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Melissa Banda Quijada. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Arturo Barrera. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Candela Bastegi. Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Shane Everett Bourgeois. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Ian Nicholas Henry Boyd. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Jose David Bravo. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Matthew Rene Caballero. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Maricela Calderon. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Alejandro Cervantes Enriquez. Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Erica Chan. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, David Copeland Laredo. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Jose Cordova. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Natalie Alexandria Dang. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Saul De La Mancha. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Minilia Del Carmen De Leon. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, Alejandro De Maggio. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Charlie F. Dominguez.
receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Leanne Dunn. <laughs> receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Cynthia Fernandez. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Laura Fernandez. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Altair Regine Costas Galgana. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Cindy Urana Gama Castro. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, degree Jesus Roberto Gorate. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Jacob Garcia. Yeah. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Jessica Garrett. Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Ariane Alessandra Gozato Perez. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, David Granados. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Samuel Philip Greenwood. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Andrew Gresset. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, Alexander Guajardo. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Ernesto Gutierrez. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Munjer Hashim. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Avery Emily Davidson Hawkins. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Taylor Bride Hohertz. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Joshua Andrew Holly. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, Rachel Jane Halsey. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Nick Jason Jamila. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Hayden Alexander Jeffries.
Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Cheryl Susan Joseph. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Kara Kaiser. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Zarek D. Kendrick. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Unjin Grace Kim. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Kana Kim. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Paulo Lopez. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Shashan Ma. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Maurice Miraquin. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Aaron Ross McEwen. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Mario Andre Medina Villela. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Michael E. Merrill. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Mehmed Milanovic. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Carlos Munroy. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, Jose Javier Moreno. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Mark Philip Ojeda. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, David Alexander Osorio. Receiving both the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design and the Bachelor of Architecture degrees, Michael A. Ovalle. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Dennis Sanjay Patel. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Sunny D. Patel. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Michael A. Pham. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, John Prophet. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, San Juanita Regalado. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Taylor J. Rigsby. Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Weston Rodberry. Woo! 
Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Tanya Patricia Rodriguez. <laughs> Graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Juan C. Rostro. Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Jocelyn Saravia Hidalgo. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Micah Simon. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Interior Architecture degree, Sarah Haromi Skinner. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Rosa Huayan Tang. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Claudia Tax. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Jenny True. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Design degree, Nadia Carolina Bajejo. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Antoinette Vicchio. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, Dominic Wood. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Richard Woodard. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design degree, Jason Yang. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, David Yao. Graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Architecture degree, Thomas Carl Zelenko. <laughs> and receiving the Bachelor of Architecture degree, David Zhu. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2016 Gerald D. Hines College of Architecture and Design graduates. Congratulations! Thank you.